In this exercise, we will understand how we can maximize our profit by optimizing the price when the demand curve is linear. Let us assume that currently you are selling 6 lakh units of razors at current price of rupees 5. Assume that the variable cost to produce a razor is rupees 2 and the price elasticity of demand for razor is also 2 and the demand curve is linear. Now we want to maximize the profit by changing the price. So how we can do this using the Excel solver? Let us understand this. As a first tip, we need to determine a demand curve equation first. So let us quickly first summarize whatever information we have. We have price, we have demand, we have elasticity and we have cost. Price given is rupees 5, demand is 6 lakh units, elasticity is 2 and cost is also 2. As we learn in the previous practical how to determine the demand curve equation when demand curve is linear, we need to have one more coordinate so that we can produce a demand curve. So as you are aware, price elasticity of demand is 2 means when we increase the price by 1%, demand will decrease by 2%. So now I am increasing the price by 1%. So price 5 plus I multiplied by 1%. Now this formula will increase the price by 1% and now the price is 5.05. When price has increased, the demand will decrease by percentage of elasticity. The demand, so demand 6 minus demand 6 multiplied by elasticity that is 2%. So it is now 5.88. So now I have uh, two coordinates. Now with the help of these two coordinates, I can determine the demand per equation. Now I am selecting both these coordinates. Go to insert. Click on scatter chart. Select the first option. Now this scatter diagram the slope of these two coordinates we can see is a positive and we know that the property of demand curve is the slope of the demand curve is negative. To correct this now, we have to go to design. In the design, look for switch row to column option. Click on that. Now you got a negative slope demand curve. Go to any coordinate, right click on that, select add trend line, it's a linear demand curve and by default it is linear so let it be as it is, scroll down, look for display equation on chart and select it. So now we have this demand curve equation. Now uh, we have to maximize the profit so therefore I need to first calculate the current profit. So let me calculate the current profit. So profit at current price. Now what is it? So we know the formula for computing the profit. Price minus cost in the bracket multiplied by demand. So using the same formula, let me compute the current profit. So price is 5 
minus cost I have to put it into the bracket so I am putting it into the bracket and then I am multiplying it with demand so my profit at current price is 18 lakh now I need to change the price so I will have a new price so let me have a sale where I can have a new price similarly I will have a new demand and new profit as well in new price enter any value I am uh, taking one don't worry at all you can take any value because uh, this is not going to be your final price value we, ultimately it's uh, Excel which is going to help us to determine what would be the new price so now in demand sale I'll be entering the formula we have already computed the equation that is uh, y is equal to minus 2.4 x plus 18 so minus 2.4 multiplied by x x is nothing but the price so i am selecting new price plus 18 and now the new profit into the formula for profit so formula will remain the same that is a price minus cost so it is a new price minus cost close the bracket multiplied by new demand enter now I am ready to use the solver to use the solver go to data at the end you will find solver button click on that the first field is a set objective now if you look at this set objective 2 you have three different option first one is max that is maximum second one is minimum third one is a value of when you use value of you can use a custom value you can enter that custom value but our objective is maximize profit so by default max is selected we will keep it as it is so in set objective field we have to enter the sale address where we have entered a new profit so in our case it is c15 so click on that so you will find that uh, this cell reference cell address has been now added in set objective field next is so set objective to maximum by changing variable cell so we can maximize the profit by changing price so I am selecting the cell reference of new price that is C13 click on C13 so that cell address will appear in by changing variable cell field for this practical we don't need to use any other option of this solver so keep all other option as it is and click solve Now solver result will appear on your screen and there are two options keep solver solution and restore original values. So in our case uh, we'll keep a solver solution as it is and click OK. So now you will find that the solver has helped us to optimize the price of the razor and it has given us a new price 4.75. So with this new reduced price point, our demand has increased to 6.6 .6 lakh units, whereas our profit has also maximized to 18.15 lakh. This is how you can maximize the profit by using Excel Solver.